a, a potential negative trend from what we've saw from today's trading? I mean, today we've finished virtually flat, and in 2012 so far, the market's had a fantastic run up about 4% in the year to date so far over the last couple of weeks. So it is healthy to see a little bit of consolidation. So hopefully, what we will see is some sideways movement. We've still got that 4,200 point mark holding, and the upper end of the trading range that we've been in over the last six months is at 4,350 points. So still a fair way to go there, and I guess traders just hoping for a bit of consolidation at this point. What really took the steam out of the market today were the job numbers. We saw uh, 29,300 jobs being lost in the month of December and economists actually expected an, in an increase of 10,000 jobs. I mean the last nine years we've only seen job losses of this magnitude uh, twice in the last nine years and I guess the last time was in April last year. Not only that we've seen the November numbers being revised downward to 7,500 jobs. So altogether I guess just uh, the job numbers adding to some nerves on the market especially given that we have seen that retailing sector very much under the spotlight over the last 12 months we've seen two rate cuts in 2011 but still consumer confidence hasn't jumped back and yesterday we heard from specialty fashion groups saying that uh, Christmas sales had been mm. quite difficult so it does look like that retailing sector back in focus the December jobs numbers really probably reflecting the poor conditions in the retailing sector and the Australian market unfortunately the great momentum we saw in the morning really coming out after those numbers I guess the good part of the market is that we have seen volumes bounce back Yesterday we cracked the $4 billion traded mark for the first time. We saw $4.6 billion being traded today and the first uh, index options expiry for the year so far. And we're going to touch on some of the, the corporate news we got today. We'll go into a little bit more detail later in the show. But Julia, uh, Woodside, um, Francesco brought it up. A, a, a pretty decent set of, set of numbers, particularly I suppose considering the, the cyclone impacts that they had. But uh, investors sell the stock off pretty harshly. This was a, a big thing on the Australian market today, the turnaround that we saw in the energy sector. It started off being one of the best sectors of the morning and by the afternoon we actually saw a loss of 0.4% in this sector, mainly driven by Woodside Petroleum which was down by 1.9% after the session. Now this is after a fourth quarter production result which was better than expected and full year production numbers which were better than expected as well. And if we have a look at Woodside Petroleum, uh, the production numbers for 2012 are expected to see a substantial jump as a result of Pluto T1 coming online. One of the things that we did see during the Asian session though were natural gas prices coming off. There's some massive LNG projects coming online in Australia over the next five years and I guess with a lot of the valuations of these energy companies the, the natural gas price is an important input. We're going to see Pluto coming online for uh, Woodside Petroleum and then Santos was the other company that reported and of course we're going to see a massive jump in production in 2015 and 2016 when it's Gladstone LNG and it's Papua New Guinea LNG projects come online. So Santos also pairing back some of those strong gains that we saw from this morning ending the day up by 0.3% but a massive turnaround in Woodside Petroleum down by 1.9%.